And the next thing I got is I got these two different sledgehammers. That one is a six pound. This one is an eight. 32 inch handle on this one. I marked it so I'd always remember. And then what I did was actually marked every two inches from the head. So if I want to do levers with a sledgehammer, I can easily show my progress. I got this guy here that I'll show you also. Really cheap uh, levering device. You don't need a lot of weight. It's something I do sitting up and like watching movies and stuff. So I'll show you some lever ideas with these. Really simple, but really effective. So essentially, put them back far enough. Just doing levers and holds for time, coming up, all the way down, back up. Another thing is you can set them down, put a coin on here to really kind of test yourself. Again, with the different marks, you can judge your progress. But grab, say whatever, 20 something inches, grab it, try to lift, and back down, keep the coin on. Kind of fun uh, way to just gauge your progress that way. And of course, the reverse levers and holds, same idea. And you see all the guys doing this stuff in the videos. Come out and touch, come back up. Uh, sledgehammers like these go on sale. This one was 30 bucks. And if you want, I always go for the wooden handles because the fiberglass ones get really thick for more comfort. But uh, these wooden ones they get the added bonus of being able to just slide more weight on. And then a six pound sledgehammer you can turn into however heavy you want it to be. It's basically unliftable. So, like I said, I got this guy. Just a two by six, nut bolt washers. And I'll be sitting on the TV, just doing the, what do you use this way? Or come down here and do them. Same idea for reverse. The other thing that I like to do, which goes back into finger pressure, finger pressure is use something like this, pinch onto it, like such, get a band or a cable going over this way, and just work on this, because that's going to work. Again, that cup, down there, it's always talking about pinch on, you just have that finger pressure to really hook over a guy, really top roll back this way. Actually, this is another guy that I built. Um, same idea as what I just described. Got a bolt here, round it off, hook it onto a band. This band's a little bit thick for this. I usually use a really mini band. You would just pull and try to use all just fingertip pressure and wrist to really manhandle that back over 